I'm Robert Therrell. And I'm Chase Bridges. And we're both screenwriters. Listen along each week as we either work together to write a new short film or go head to head with competing movie pitches. This is Written By. Take those old podcasts off the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. Today's podcast just ain't got the same soul. I like that old time written by. I like. <laughs> Welcome to written by. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Do you, now, now I'm embarrassed. Do you think when this generation is old, they're going to show their kids their old favorite podcast? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Because the, the same doesn't exactly translate with radio because radio back in the day <clears throat> was broadcast and then for the most part it I was gone. I think there's nostalgia for the time of radio where there's like radio dramas. Yeah, a little bit. Like uh, The Shadow. Like yeah. that's a really big nostalgic point for a lot of people. Um, I think that there's already nostalgia for me in podcasts, Oh, yeah. which is interesting because huh. there is a podcast I listened to religiously when I was in high school. And they ended, and I went back last year and re-listened to all the podcast episodes, and I was like, oh, this was so great. I missed this. I remember listening to this in the Walmart parking lot after school when I was working. So, yeah. hey, maybe All one I know day. is when, when I'm a grandparent, when I have grandkids, I'm going to sit them all down and make them listen to Written By. Yeah, I, yeah. This is when I was young. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of ideas. Yeah. This, 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 this is going to be me, right? I'm going to be like, well... You know how Grandpappy wasn't successful? <laughs> well, it wasn't for the lack of trying. In fact, me and my buddy Robert, we made 100 episodes of a show that no one listened to. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I'm successful now. I directed every Christian music hey, video. Hey, congratulations. Sincerely. Yeah, uh, everyone wants to Congrats. get coffee now. Really? Yeah. Have you had people reaching out? Yeah. Woo! But I'm just like, I, I, I don't mean to like be bitter about it, but I'm like, hey, but hey where been, was y'all last week? Yeah, I've been doing this the whole time. Where, it's just now there's a famous dude. <laughs> where was y'all last week when we needed you? Um, Yeah, we uh, we did that film festival yep. and we were in the recap video. You got a laugh in the oh, recap yeah, video, got, dude. Uh -huh. Man, you're killing it, dude. This is the era of Robert. Now, I say that now. By the time yeah. this comes out, it could have all gone away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not saying it. I don't want to jinx it. No, but, I don't believe in but jinxes. But you could say it. I don't believe in jinxes, and I don't believe in sphinxes. Uh, a lot I don't of people don't believe in sphinxes. I don't believe that a cat's going to ask me for riddles. I don't believe it. If anything, a cat would demand... Actually, you know what? I could, I could see where a cat would want answers from you. I think I think all cats ask riddles. It's just you can't understand them because they don't know English Ooh, yet. Oh Jesus! They look at you that way. They do. They're like, "Yo, man, what has a face but no arms?" There is <laughs> yeah, something exactly, like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they think it. You know, yeah. <laughs> I messed up the riddle. You guys, welcome to Rip by the number one podcast in the world. Right behind all the other ones. You almost forgot to do that. Yeah, almost. But you you took the reins <laughs> of the horse, man. This the sturdy steed we call written by. You grabbed it by the. By the reins, man. I'm a little all over the place because mm -hmm. to be completely honest, to be completely honest, man, uh, I'm tired. We, everyone is. I don't yeah. know what it was. I was editing with Gunner all day. Both of us came in. Just like we low just energy. Don't got energy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think maybe, maybe the maybe maybe we're done. Maybe us maybe. as humans are done today. Yeah, like this is it. Just collectively, everyone is is over. Well, okay, we aren't. We aren't tired. We aren't not putting in effort. We're just supporting the actor strike. We refuse to yeah, act dog. like we're okay. Um, I obviously support the actor strike. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, it's a little hard to uh not work because of a strike when I wasn't working in the first place. Yeah. So, you know, I feel a little phony. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't gonna work because of the strike. 
Well, what about last week? Well, I, yeah. I knew the strike was coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You were supporting the strike before there was a strike. Yeah, man. I've been on this. ahead of the curve. I've been on this strike, dog. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. This is a fun one. Oh, I hope we so. We got twelve foot skeleton. What do what do you know about the twelve foot skeleton? Did you put this in here? I did. Put okay, this in I here. was so glad because I was like, I don't remember. I don't remember <laughs> if it was me. So so of course we could just do a skeleton that's twelve foot tall. It's yeah. about that. But uh, there is a specific phenomenon. Yeah. It started about two years ago and it stayed strong. Yeah. Which is for Halloween one year, the Home Depot. Yeah decor department they was like hey we're gonna sell skeleton. a giant 12 foot skeleton um, in my neighborhood in this very mm -hmm. neighborhood uh they're, they're still up yeah no people people went crazy over these yeah. 12 foot skeletons they make custom costumes for yep. it which you know it's one thing to make a custom costume for like a little doll or something but this no. is like a 12 foot yeah, bigger than huge. you they're, they're huge people yeah. making their costumes they're leaving them up year round and yeah. decorating them for every holiday i love it uh, I I am a part of a Facebook group where people post their twelve foot skeletons. Oh hell yeah! It, it is so much fun. And then there's also there's been disputes because a lot of HOAs oh, they don't, don't like, like skeletons being up around not yeah. Halloween time. Dude, our neighborhood uh, they have three or four of them. Yeah, and they're up all year round. And then for Halloween, the rest of their yard turns into this giant. It's like they bought all of them. It went viral on TikTok. How much mm -hmm. Halloween decorations are in these yeah. people's yard? It's sick, man. Nice. I like twelve foot skeletons. So I'm assuming, then, when you put this in the bowl, uh -huh. the thought process was the twelve foot skeleton comes to life. See, yeah. Either either it is an HOA dispute or it's at night, like night of the museum style. The twelve foot skeleton in someone's yard comes to life, walks around the neighborhood. Oh. Maybe both of them could be combined where the 12 foot skeleton I like is the conflict with the HOA. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Because also no one likes the HOA. Yeah, who likes yeah. it? And you know what's crazy to me? Some neighborhoods start their own HOA. Like some yeah. neighbors like, "You know what? I'm going to step up and be the HOA." Yeah, I mean, I I say I hate the HOA. I've never been in a place with an HOA. I just, I hear passively yeah, you, other I mean, people just, complain. It's like, that sounds like some rich yeah. people shit. <laughs> yeah. Authority in general is just kind of lame. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, I've lived in, uh, I lived in a neighborhood for most of my life where they tried to make an HOA uh -huh. and it just didn't work. Like they went around <laughs> and they were like, okay, everybody pay $25 for the HOA fees. And everybody was like, nah. Hey everyone, pay twenty five dollars to me so I could tell you what to do. Hey, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it was. But then we moved, and it was a country club, and it's yeah. like a really strict HOA, mm -hmm. and it's like those HOA fees are like required. Yeah, and they they expensive, mm -hmm. and you don't even get anything. You just get told what to do. Yeah, you get told, hey, you can't have this in your yard. Yeah. It's crazy. And then this neighborhood, I don't think has one. And if there is, I don't know, they'll get shot or something eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, I like the conflict with the HOA. What if, uh, I guess the HOA agent, or I don't know what they're called. The person, president. The president of, of the, the HOA. HOA. Yeah. He, uh, you know, has a very specific personality. He likes being an authority. The, it's typically, look, I don't want to sound uh -huh. judgmental. Yeah. It's typically an older white woman. Yep. Yeah. Take with that information what you will. I have limited experience. You were you were a part of a shoot that I directed where we had a run in with an HOA lady. She was actually really nice, but it was it was funny because we were shooting in a nice neighborhood. It was this wacky project which included three people wearing like black cloaks and hoods running around this uh yeah oh. and the hoa lady got called because somebody thought there was a satanic ritual and I had to be like no this is like yeah. a pseudo fantasy sci-fi thing i'm shooting for so i don't know how to describe it but. yeah because apparently there had been sacrifices there before yeah so they were like ah oh, these guys are back yeah, back human sacrifice At 1 p.m on a saturday <laughs> yeah broad daylight sacrifice <laughs> 
<laughs> sacrificing. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's set the scene. Uh, a family. Yeah, Twelve foot skeleton. Yeah, a family buys a 12-foot skeleton, takes it home, sets it up. They're really proud of it. Mm. But the mean HOA lady tries walks to by and is like, hey, that's not cool. And the HOA lady tries to make a law saying they can't have their skeleton out. Yeah. Or, you know, we could play on a lot of these places will let the skeleton be out during Halloween. What if uh, what if they buy a skeleton and it comes to life? And so this is like a living thing, but they have to keep it a secret. Ooh. But uh, when when it's not Halloween, they can't pack it up. They can't send it back to Home Depot. Because it's a living it's a, thing. It's a person. Yeah. It's a 12-foot skeleton man. And so they're trying or to find woman. these loopholes to where they could keep it outside. Yeah. But the HOA lady is like, no, you need to keep it inside. But the skeleton can't. What if it's the skeleton, it comes to life when the moonlight shines on it? Oh, so and if it's inside, like, the moonlight won't shine on the skeleton. So it's kind of like werewolf rules. Yeah, but with the 12-foot skeleton. I like it. I think I think what we're missing is Mr. Like, H. Depot himself sprinkled a magic <laughs> dust on it. He'll, he'll bring me depot. <laughs> um, I think we're missing some like... Not to overuse this word today, but like some whimsy. Some whimsy. You know, like we don't want, do we want this to just be, do we want our 12 foot skeleton movie to be about the HOA? Yeah. Or should it be like, that's just like the main conflict in the 12 foot skeleton story? I don't well, know. Well, that's the main antagonist. Yeah, yeah, that's the main antagonist. So what, what, do you, what do you mean when you say whimsy? Well, I just feel like <clears throat> immediately when I think skeleton, I think of like Jack Skellington. Yeah. So like Nemo Elm Street kind of. Seeing, I mean, I don't know. I mean, think of all the cool stuff we could do with a giant 12-foot skeleton. What if, uh, okay, the giant 12-foot skeleton, uh, it's a it's a spirit from the afterlife that has haunted this 12-foot skeleton, and it is whimsical like Jack's skeleton. It sings and dances around in yeah, the moonlight. It's definitely got to sing. The children of this household, uh, they are part of the school theater and they're putting on a play and secretly the 12 foot oh. skeleton is ghostwriting the entire play so if the hoa lady gets her way and they have to get rid of the skeleton they can't the put on the play oh now you're on one robert that's what i'm talking about yeah it's a it's a halloween play because you know yeah exactly <laughs> school's yeah, always yeah. put on always halloween always have the plays. halloween play yeah uh <laughs> okay so do we do this Frosty is a high the school girl's senior project, and it's about the skeleton land. And Ooh, can it be about the skeleton war? Skeleton war, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bows are the skeleton's yeah. body, and also there are dollars. <laughs> yeah, the worms Spooky, are the scary skeleton's dollars skeletons too. <laughs> and shivers. I also, dude, there's a part of me. I really like the idea. We should okay. definitely keep okay. that. Yeah, a part of me. I want to see a battle of twelve foot skeletons. Okay. Okay. How do we how do we find a way to where? Oh wait, this is the thing. So the girl, her her senior project is this play about the skeleton war. Uh, the skeleton is inviting all of its twelve foot skeleton friends from out of town to all be in it, and it's it's going to look like she has amazing animatronics because there are going to be 12, oh. 12 foot dancing skeletons. Okay. Yes, I think we have. I think we. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We could add layers to this, too. Okay. So, the 12-foot skeleton. Okay, this is how we do it. 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 The 12-foot skeleton is the last sole survivor of the skeleton war. (laughs) And he has PTSD, (laughs) post-traumatic skeleton disorder. (laughs) And... Uh, we do we frosty the snowman it right okay so the, this family buys a 12 foot skeleton there's the senior theater major in high school or not major theater or should it be college the student no let's take it high school there's more yeah. whimsy that way yeah, yeah, yeah. it's high like school. high school musical high school they're all doing thing yeah, yeah euphoria high no no high school yeah they're that doing budget. like they're they're grinding up skeleton bones and snorting them <laughs> yeah yeah and they're just getting high <laughs> off that skelly baby you know um <laughs> <laughs> so uh senior year of high school she's got to put on a big production but she's got writer's block yeah she doesn't know what she's gonna write and she's kind of like she's she's kind of like 
gotten like uh she did a play her freshman year she she had the chance to do a play yeah. freshman year and it like it was amazing yeah. and so she feels like there's a lot of pressure on her to really deliver for her senior project yeah and she doesn't know and her family had just bought this 12 foot skeleton mm -hmm. and she's sitting out there and she's thinking and she's thinking and she's trying to write ideas and then she she's like oh man i got right as block and so her mom's like well why don't you dress up the skeleton it's almost halloween and she goes out there and she starts dressing up the skeleton and when she puts the i don't know hat uh -huh. on the skeleton he comes to life and so he helps her write so he is like working through his trauma of the skeleton war and she's using it as inspiration for her play and so during him talking about the skeleton war we could get flashbacks yeah. of actual scenes from the battles okay i have i have a better because i i liked what you were saying earlier we yeah. both want to see a giant war of a bunch of giant skeletons yes so we lean into the girl also there's a shortened backstory she just wants to do good on the play so she gets into a good theater college or something but she yeah she's doing the play she has writer's lock the skeleton comes to life he tells her about the skeleton war and then they're writing about that. What if when he's digging deep into his flashbacks, the stuff that he has shoved deep down and not thought of, blocked out of his subconscious, Yeah, he starts telling her everything. He's like, oh, well, there is this spell that is what brought the skeletons to life in the first place. The night when the giant, when she is performing the play and the giant skeleton is on stage and the HOA lady that didn't want the skeleton around is in the audience. Yes. Is fuming that this skeleton is still around. The skeleton on stage accidentally says the incantation <gasps> that raises skeletons from the dead. And so in the nearby graveyard, a bunch of other skeletons. 12 foot skeletons they or rise little to skeletons. Life. Maybe just real skeletons yeah, yeah, like yeah. gnarlier. And of course, they walk in on someone acting out the skeleton war. They think a skeleton oh, war is going and down. And so now there's a battle happening in the auditorium. In the theater. And now our director has to save the school. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I made a snowflake. I, I was asking what you were... I was going to ask what you were doing this whole time. Hey, man. This is called... Uh, Suspense and intrigue. Oh, Chase's ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> While they were watching, they were listening. They're like, this is a great idea for a short, but what is Chase doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then, bam, the reveal. It's a snowflake. Yeah. That's Perfectly it. square. Like, Hey, all story. snowflakes are unique and different. Okay? <laughs> if my snowflake is an L, because I take a lot of L's, <laughs> then so be it. <laughs> no, but that's it. It feels like a uh, it feels like a Disney Channel Halloween movie. Exactly. Yeah. Like mostly ghostly or Halloween Town, which man, I love. I, I, do lo too. I love. I love slightly spooky but mostly funny stuff. Yes. So how 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 are we ending? I think I think we could flesh out the beginning and everything, but we have a solid. Yeah. We just need to know where to land the plane. How is she going to save uh, the skeletons and everything? Where is the HOA person going to be at the end of this? Okay. Yeah. Let's do the actual hard work now. Let's see. We have setups. The HOA lady mm -hmm. doesn't want the skeleton up. Something's got to happen with that. Yeah. What if... <laughs> <laughs> this might be dumb, but what if the HOA lady, she specifically hates the skeleton because she she had like a husband die or something and she saw his boat. <laughs> She's traumatized from skeletons, but then uh, his skeleton is one of the ones that gets raised back to life and they get to talk a little before he goes back into his grave. <laughs> Okay, let's take part of that. I think the <laughs> HOA lady, I think the HOA lady's biggest issue with the twelve foot skeleton is that it's an eyesore. Yeah, it's an eyesore. It, it reminds her of her dead husband. <laughs> it's, an it's an eyesore. It makes the whole neighborhood look bad. Mm -hmm. You can't have a twelve foot skeleton up. No, we keep the part where her ex, her husband, her her widow. Yeah. Husband comes is I mean, one of the not skeletons. Specifically, she saw a skeleton, but she hates all things like spooky and death related, vaguely because of that. 
Yeah. But it's also, it's an eyesore. It's an eyesore. It's an eyesore, I think, is probably the simplest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we want to add backstory to the... <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the idea of her husband coming back as one of the skeletons, and maybe that causes her to be like... Oh, skeletons aren't that bad. Or maybe maybe she was simply a nice person before her husband died and she's oh, been a grumpy, and she got grumpy, strict lady ever since. But then seeing her talk to her husband again, you see this completely different side of her. And she's like, oh, maybe we should have instead of just like hating you and just like tried to talk to you or something. You're actually a fun person deep down. Yeah. Yeah. You're just hurting. You know? I think that's good. That yeah. She like was that. nice before her husband passed away. Yeah. We'll keep that um, <clears throat> in our back pocket. Yeah. Um, what else? We've set up the fact that the play needs to go well, but we yeah. know that it's not going to go well. Well, I think what we could do is if our main character manages to calm the skeleton war aspect yeah. of the play, she could almost frame it as, hey, that was a, a surprise for the audience, you know? I got all yeah. these other skeletons uh, as part of the show. Yeah, I mean, I think that feels a little cliche where it's okay. like something crazy happens during a performance and the audience claps after it's all over yeah. and they're like, yeah. oh, they love it. I wonder if the end of this short is... uh like a not complete thing. Like what if the end of the short is all of these skeletons beginning to have a war? You know what I mean? I want to have some sort of resolution. What if, what if though skeleton war can continue to wage on maybe, maybe they mm. managed to fight off a few bad skeletons. She scratch her doing well at the play. Yeah. She fails this play miserably because she started a war in the audience and half of the people ran out. Ran out. And yeah, there was like this is a, I wanted to be like a real battle. Yeah, but yeah. but she she manages to save the day, fight off the evil skeletons. The good skeletons are so impressed. They're like, "Hey, we want You'll you be the to help yeah, lead the skeleton army in the skeleton world. And also, we got great skeleton college. You could put on plays at skeleton college, too. Oh, yeah. And we do like the big friendly giant shot where the 12-foot skeleton like picks her up and puts yeah. her on his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know I know this world doesn't understand you, but, but we, we can now open a portal. Come to skeleton world. You can go to skeleton school. With should, the, should the 12-foot skeleton be voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> should, should we yes. do that? Should yeah, we do I think we should do that. <laughs> Come with us. Join me on the skeleton war. Come to skeleton school. <laughs> we <laughs> like theater. Ah, no. No, let's not do No that bones school. about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bone to make with you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I, All the skeleton puns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let, we'll, we're going to play this. We're going to play this straight. As straight as we can. No Arnold. We're casting. Uh, I, I think it should be like a real deep voice, whimsical. Skeleton. Honestly, you know who would be perfect is a. Uh, he was the voice in that that Moon Knight series. F. F. Murray, Avery, or something. I don't know. Do you know who he is? About. He's been around for forever. He got a. He was an Amadeus. He won the Oscar for that, and mm. he's been around ever since. Okay, let's figure out this twelve foot skeleton. On that note, let's figure yeah. out the twelve foot skeleton. Is he? dancy and singy or is he maybe more deep voiced and intellectual and he likes the theater you know like very i think i think he is like that i think he has the whimsy and the dancing in him but he needs it brought out by this theater student yeah the theater student lets him connect to this whimsical self that he buried deep inside yeah that is like cluttered under this ptsd but we do it like aslan where when it's battle time you see he's exactly. a leader like yeah he's, a he's like whimsy and prancing on the stage but the moment skeleton war starts it, it could even be maybe he he shows he writes down or maybe he manages to have some sort of, i don't know he need he needs to have the spell that brings skeletons to life it has to be like now don't say this or whatever but she puts it in the play anyway. yeah 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 okay okay so so beats beats let's open with 
our main character is writing a play. It has writer's block. The mom is out decorating and she's like, hey, why don't you finish decorating the skeleton just as a break? She puts hat on a skeleton. Moonlight shines on it. It comes to life. He's like, whoa, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just a skeleton or whatever. And he's I mean, like, he's like, what, what's his name? What's a 12-foot skeleton name? Uh, Bones? <laughs> that, that was the first thing that came to my mind, too. I, I, yeah. I like that might be too easy. Uh, I mean, I want, I want something skeleton-related. Yeah. I want a good pun name. Uh, Marrow? <laughs> Marrow? Mr. Marrow? He's a Marrow Streep. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marrow? I like Mr. Mero. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm Mr. Mero. Nice to meet you. Why why is my 12-foot skeleton from Home Depot talking? It's like I am That is a good the question. Spirit of a skeleton from the skeleton realm. I've been hibernation for many years. You placed a hat on me in the moonlight <laughs> and it has awoken my spirit. Oh, wait, maybe there's like some like legend, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh uh when the skeleton war lay dormant, and there is but what one, but there is what but one skeleton left, a hat placed on his head, will bring back all the rest. Oh wait, maybe maybe the mom just has this really old hat in yeah. the attic because she collects a bunch of antique, spooky looking stuff, and yeah. so it's it's actually like it's a this hat legendary from the skeleton hat. War. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, my name is Mister Marrow. And he's like, what, 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 is my 12-foot skeleton talking? What just happened? Uh, and, and he's like, oh, what a beautiful hat. I haven't seen one of these since, <laughs> since the skeleton war. The skeleton war? Yes, the skeleton war. My, <laughs> should we make the whole short kind of musically? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the skeleton war? Yes, the skeleton war. Not long ago, there was a war. <laughs> a skeleton war. Please tell me more. Well, well, an evil warlock rose the bones to life with a magical incantation. <laughs> and when the skeletons waged war, uh, this will all be in song and rhyme. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When the skeletons yeah. waged war, they... They sought destruction upon the land, <laughs> upon each other's lands. And uh, so the wizards, they they took all the souls out of the skeleton. But you had the magic hat that if placed on a skeleton will bring a soul back to it. And I guess, I guess it doesn't matter that this is a plastic skeleton and not a, <laughs> not an actual bone skeleton. <laughs> yeah, magic, bro. Yeah. Yeah, magic. Uh, yeah, I like this. Yeah. I like this And she's lot. like, hey, skeleton war. That That's sounds a, like a great story. You have any stories about boy, the Skeleton War? I have a tale or two. <laughs> Let me tell you of the ballad of the Skeleton War. Oh, okay. And this is how we structure it to go quick. Yeah. You just get a great song of him recounting yeah. a great tale of the Skeleton War. And you instantly, like as he is performing the song, you see her writing it all down and asking questions about it. And then the next Oh, and shot, she keeps like popping in like... And what was his name? Clarence. Ah. Like, yeah. and she's like, it, yeah, it's yeah. a back and forth. And she was like, and then, and then Bones McGee said the incantation. He's like, what's the incantation? You must never speak the incantation. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah. And the lights get yeah, red. Yeah. And it's like the moon turns red. You must never speak the incantation. And she's like, and it gets real dramatic music stop and he goes, but this is what it is. <laughs> But I can write it down for you. <laughs> I'll write down the incantation, but it must just never be spoken. Because if it's ever said again, the bones will be awoken. They'll come out from their graves, you see. They'll come out here for you and me. And we will all be doomed all once again. Skeleton boy. <laughs> hey, man. This is this is good. This is good oh, stuff, so dog. It. So we get that that song, and then you instantly just cut to her backstage of the theater she is shuffling a bunch of fellow students who are all in costume they're all asking questions about the skeleton war lore it doesn't make sense to them (laughs) it's like hey just trust me it's just like how is it that we're all skeletons but also bones are our money and she's like hey (laughs) shut up (laughs) 
<laughs> you don't know what you're talking about, Sheila. Why are bones and worms our money? Hey, if we're all dead already, how are we dying? Your souls get taken Eric. out of the bones. I, I told you that. That's on page two. That's so, the incantation. What's the incantation? Don't say the incantation. <laughs> but it's on page three. You could only write the incantation. <laughs> yeah, that's really good stuff. So she only can visit. So maybe the skeleton. The skeleton only comes to life. The 12 foot skeleton only mm. comes to life during the moonlight. Actually, I think I think now it's when it has the hat on because I'm also I'm picturing that she's backstage telling people where to go. Mm -hmm. That's like 45 seconds of screen time. We just know that the song we just saw it is now the play. And then he's pretending the, to be a prop. Yeah, skeleton. he's pretending to be a prop. She walks up to him and he's like, "I still don't understand what you want me to do." And he's like, "Well." <laughs> Look, this is going to be like what seals the deal for my scholarship is what it looks like. I have a 12 foot animatronic skeleton moving on its own with no strings. I got this at the back. So I just yeah, need yeah, you yeah. to, you know, sing the song like you did yesterday. Yeah. And we'll all be good. And, you know, whatever, whatever, like skeleton stuff you need, I get, I, I'll help you out. <laughs> yeah. No, this is, I, dude, I'm in love with this. Yeah. We get a good feel like, 45 seconds of the skeleton play we have the students dressed up but then the 12 foot skeleton comes out and that's when everyone's really impressed except for the I hoa know. lady that's in the audience be like that skeleton i'm almost wondering if the hoa lady is too much for this because it seems like in this version of the short we have her working with the skeleton to make the play mm -hmm. and then the conflict is the incantation Right? Like yeah. they say the incantation mm -hmm. and it causes the skeletons to show up. I wonder if it would be too long. Like a feature version, uh -huh. I think we would need multiple conflicts. But I wonder if just for the short. The, yeah. I mean, but I could be wrong. I just don't see how we weave the HOA in. Yeah. Yeah. So it does kind of feel like everything kind of goes her way up until this point. So. Ooh, maybe, maybe the HOA takes down the skeleton like she wins so uh -huh. the daughter gets home from school also how do you get a 12 foot skeleton to the high school with no one seeing it there's well, holes well when everybody knows that you're making a play about skeletons i think you know you just brought the skeleton to school yeah but i'm talking about in transit i mean like did I it walk there <laughs> <laughs> i mean you just you get a you get a trailer Okay. You sit it down. All right. right I mean, maybe they have it. I mean, 12 feet isn't crazy. Yeah. It's just two me's. Yeah. So it's like, maybe they, maybe she drives a truck. Uh-huh. And he, yeah. she, he sits yeah. in the back of the truck. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So uh, maybe the HOA gets her way. Mm -hmm. And so her mom starts taking the skeleton down, takes the hat off. Hey, maybe maybe we're, we're overlooking something really simple. What if the woman who's in charge of the HOA also works in the theater department because the hoa lady like they don't always do that for a living right no like, they have no it's like a volunteer thing yeah okay but i mean i just don't see why she would work in the theater and not want a 12 foot skeleton that's true that's true unless um, she hates all things spooky because her husband died maybe her husband was a witch doctor and then when he died she swore off witchery yeah uh <laughs> don't okay. say yeah like i'm serious <laughs> yeah no we could do that which doctor <laughs> husband yeah yeah <laughs> okay nobody nobody she doesn't even know she's doing a spooky play before the 12 foot skeleton so uh yeah maybe well because i i think a conflict that could happen right mm -hmm. so it's like okay what is our main character's goal her goal is to put on this play yeah that's all she wants what are some conflicts that arise? Mm -hmm. Things that could go wrong. Yeah. The play doesn't happen, which mm -hmm. we know doesn't happen. We want yeah. the play to happen. Yeah. Uh, something happens to her skeleton. Yep. So, oh no, I don't have my skeleton for the big production. I hope he can get here in time. What am I supposed to do? Maybe she's trying, I don't know. Maybe maybe some neighborhood kids take the 12 foot skeleton because they're like, bro, we're going to take this skeleton from this people's yard. And so she's having to get the skeleton back in time for the production and they're like 
maybe maybe it's a false finish, right? She she manages to get the skeleton back just in time for the curtains to open. Yeah. She breathes a sigh of relief, and then her actor on the stage says the incantation. Okay. Okay, that made me think of something. Here's an idea. Maybe maybe the twelve foot skeleton isn't in the play because maybe that would be too obvious. Mm -hmm. There's no way a high school student could do that. There's an HOA lady who does not like the 12 foot skeleton. She specifically does not like the decorations. She hates this gaudy hat that's on the skeleton. Yeah. And so when whenever everybody is at the school doing the skeleton play, the HOA lady is like, this is my chance. I'm going to take the skeleton down. And she takes the hat. Mm -hmm. And so when she accidentally says the incantation and a bunch of skeletons bum rush the stage, they don't the have the 12 foot skeleton. Awake. And so she has to like get the hat back yeah. on the 12 foot skeleton. Cause he's the only one that can stop the real skeletons. Yeah. 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 And then, that, yeah. and then we can, uh, we could use that to like have the skeletons go out of the, the school. school and they're just terrorizing the whole neighborhood. Oh man, I would watch this all day yeah. long. Dude. This this has great I, I watched Army of Darkness for the first time like oh, it does three weeks like ago. It's, I haven't yeah. watched it, but I've yeah. seen enough clips to this do. is this is that mixed with like a, a Disney Channel high school yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Sign me. High up. school musical meets Army of Darkness. Like what a pitch is that? So hey, somebody called Bob Iger. <laughs> Well, well, Bob Iger's wildin' right now. I would. <laughs> hey, Bob. <laughs> it's like I want to work for Disney, but also Bob hey, Iger could suck it right now. <laughs> I know what will end both strikes right this second. When Bob Iger hears this movie yeah. pitch, he wants to make it today. <laughs> uh huh. He's gonna have to fold. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna have to give. He's like, okay, we gotta pay everybody. I want, I want this thing right now. now. I don't care. We'll pay everybody double what they're asking. Yeah. Because we need the Skeleton War <laughs> musical movie for yeah. Disney Channel. <laughs> And and one of the one of the evil skeletons that gets risen, of course, is Tim Robinson. <laughs> yeah. And when, when a skeleton yeah. like gets run over by a car and its bones explode, it's like, yeah, I got so much money. <laughs> He's digging up someone's garden. He's like, there's so much worms. I also have money. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun things we could do with this, man. This is fun. If I someone like hasn't this. seen, I think you should leave. They have no idea, but uh. Look yeah. up, look up the the Johnny Cash parody. <laughs> oh man, okay. So we got it. Let's 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 bang out this outline real quick. Okay, all right. Because I think we the, have the general plot now. Okay, so banging out this outline, our main character who we need a name for. Oh yeah, her name. What's a theater girl's name? Do we have any Roxy? <laughs> do we have any female names in the in the Discord suggestions? Uh, Cheryl, Samantha, I like Erica, Samantha. Tasha. Let's go, Samantha. That sounds like a Sam. She goes by Sam. Yeah, yeah. She's a theater kid. Yeah. So Sam is writing a play. Meanwhile, her mom is outside. She's unpacked all the Halloween decorations. Uh, the HOA lady comes by, and is like, "You should take that down." He's like, "I'm not taking it down." And it's like, "Well, I'll see what the HOA thinks about that." Yeah. And mom comes in. She's still struggling. He's like, well, hey, why don't you take a break? Finish the skeleton. She puts the hat on the skeleton. It comes to life. <clears throat> you get the intro. Then it sings a song about the skeleton war. Yeah. You cut to her putting on, getting ready to put on the play that she's written based on this. Yeah. And while she's putting on the play, we see segments of the play. People seem to be into it. Yes. While everyone's at school, the HOA lady takes drives by takes off the hat i guess now we should bring the moonlight thing back because that's why the skeleton didn't just stop her from taking the yeah, hat, yeah, yeah. it's, it's the, not night it's not nighttime it, the he comes to light and that's why he's not at the school either, yeah I think. yeah yeah so it's just like it's like her secret friend that she gets uh -huh. to see at night yeah 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 which <laughs> hold on that sounded creepy <laughs> no <laughs> oh the skeleton war so so the hoa <laughs> So the HOA lady takes off the hat. Meanwhile, she makes a mistake because, of course, we made a big deal about how you could write down the incantation, but don't say it. But she Not wrote it down in the it. script and she accidentally, she forgets a line, but she has a script like on the floor. She says it out loud. The local graveyard starts to shake and all these skeletons pop up. They bum rush the stage. They're running around the neighborhood. She's like, quick. Quick, Mr. Marrow, help us. And then she looks and she sees the 12-foot skeleton standing with no hat. And so 
She's running to the yeah. HOA lady to try to take the hat while skeletons are terrorizing. She, we need some sort of conflict to where she manages to take the hat and then she puts it on the head and the skeleton with her help find, I guess they need to find like some sort of other incantation that will like either, either like get rid of the evil spirit of the skeletons or bring some good skeletons too, or just transport them all the way. We need to figure out how they stop it. But, uh, I also still like, uh, I think there should be some fighting, the 12 foot skeleton fighting exactly. the skeletons. Yeah, yeah. But I think maybe it's a thing. Maybe the only way to get them back into the their graves or whatever mm-hmm. is uh, you have to. I don't know. I, my first thought was you have to have 20 skulls, hmm. 20 skeleton skulls, and then say a new incantation. Mm-hmm. Or maybe that's why she has to go wake him up because he's the only one that has the incantation to take them down i don't know or maybe he just maybe he just destroys all of them yeah yeah i uh because if it's a small town it's a small local graveyard maybe i think uh most okay okay he knows this incantation that raises skeletons but since she did it wrong it raised evil skeletons he knows how to raise good skeletons and so they raise a few good skeletons and there's still a fight (coughs) they just have a few reinforcements but then they manage to just brute force rip apart all the evil skeletons. Okay, yeah. And then, since the bones are the skeletons' money, and they ripped <laughs> apart a bunch of skeletons, they now have enough skeleton dollars that they could pay for a portal back to skeleton. Land. They can pay the fairy. Yeah. Over the river sticks yeah. to the afterlife. And the fairy is just like a skeleton horses pulling a skeleton chariot. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, okay, so she puts the hat on his head, and she's like, Mr. Marrow, the skeletons are attacking. What do we do? And he goes, we call some friends. (laughs) Oh, boys. And then (laughs) some good skeletons come out. (laughs) And then we still get the moment where the HOA lady is terrified, but her dead husband talks to her. (laughs) Oh, yeah, she's maybe she's standing there. She's like, but, 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 but. And then we watch a skeleton come behind her, put... His arm around her and go, yeah. hey, babe. And she goes, Johnny? And then she turns and sees his cousin and she goes, ah! And then he goes, ah! And then runs off. It's just like a short gag and then we move on. No, I I, I want to clue in that she used to be fun. I like that element. <laughs> but if her, her skeleton, it like has a mohawk somehow. And it's like, Johnny Smooth. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> your former husband, Johnny Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. She, he pulls up. We do the same thing. Arm around her. Uh, and he's like, he's like, damn, baby, lighten up. <laughs> and she's like, huh? My husband? And he's like, you used to be so much fun. What happened? She's like, you died. And he goes, ah, that's true. And then he runs away. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a, there's a moment where, uh, the two of them are trapped among this big crowd of evil skeletons. And he's like, how are we going to get out of here, Johnny Smooth? And he's like, remember how we used to dance, babe? And apparently they used to be really big swing dancers, so the like, type that like throw yeah, each other around yeah. and do flips. And so you just get the old HOA lady of the skeleton oh, with a mohawk. Man. Like he is swinging her around using her feet to kick other skeletons. She is throwing her in the air and she's doing flips. <laughs> hey, bro, we cooking. We cooking. <laughs> I want to watch this movie today. Yeah, okay. no, that's great. So we have a whole set piece yeah, yeah. where they swing dance, fight skeletons together. Yeah. And then at the end, at the end of the battle or whatever, he's like, grab the bones, boys. They're money. Yeah, they're money. <laughs> we, we can finally have enough for yeah. the, the Grab river. the worms too, boys. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, we finally have enough money to pay the fare across the river sticks. I think and there's a... <laughs> There's a little subplot where immediately next door there is just a gardener and we only show this in the background that he's really proud of his garden but then everyone keeps on digging it up for work we were leaning heavy on this tim robinson sketch we're counting on him uh you know giving us his blessing oh yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean who wouldn't after exactly. you hear yeah. this pitch yeah we'll give him a part in the movie we'll give sam a part too yeah yeah they can both be in it yeah i mean they can be the skeleton yeah all of them all of them mocap yeah. <laughs> um yeah, and then they have we have this r- romantic moment where he's like, "I gotta go," and she's like, "But Johnny Cool or Johnny Slick or whatever, <laughs> Johnny Smooth." I haven't been the same since you've been gone, and he's like, "I'll see you again one day, girl," yeah. and he flies away. 
Mm-hmm. He's and like, just because I died doesn't mean you're, my cool had to die with me. And then he kick flips a skateboard yeah. <laughs> onto the river sticks. <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. I think that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's so. It. Okay, I think the one thing we are missing is we got the B plot, which closes perfectly. Yeah. Uh, she manages to get the hat, place it on Mister Marrow. Mister Marrow ca- calls some good skeletons. I think she and Mister Marrow need to collab. And she needs to specifically do something that helps save the day. She's the one that saves the day and impresses Mr. Marrow. So she gets the invite to the skeleton land. So like, just what, what can she do? Oh to yeah. Save I forgot about that plot point. Yeah. Okay. So going back to the incantation there, the, all the skeletons are fighting mm-hmm. and she realizes this is going to go on a while. Yeah. And she's and she's and she's sitting there. She's like, "Oh my gosh!" And she's looking at the in- incantation written down, but it's laying. The paper is laying flat on the ground, and it's in a puddle. Yeah. And so it causes it to bleed through, and it's backwards. Mm-hmm. And she goes backwards, and she runs up. And in the middle of the battle, she runs up and she goes, "Mr. Marrow, give me a boost!" And you know, runs up and he picks her up, and he picks her up above his head, and she yells out the incantation backwards. And that sends all of the evil skeletons back. Oh, okay. Okay. And he's like, that's some good thinking. Yeah, I never thought of that. I, I could have prevented an entire skeleton genocide if I knew that. <laughs> he's like, we need a, we need a, and now I've forgotten the Mr. Mayor of what, mm-hmm. we need a good thinker like you in the skeleton war. Would you like to come with us? I don't know. Or maybe she doesn't go with them in this version. <laughs> I still kind of like it. I still got it because we we built up that her main thing is to put on a good play, and her play goes terrible. Yeah, but okay. Well, in that case, we need to make her like an orphan. You know what I mean? I don't. I think we well. We already know her mom is really into Halloween, so I think her mom is just cool with it. She's like, "Oh, that's sick, babe." Oh, so she's not gonna be gone forever. Yeah, she's She's just going on an adventure. She's going to skeleton college. (laughs) I forgot. Okay, so maybe it's. I still I like that she, did she, her one motivation was to do good in this play so she could get in the school she wanted to, and that is ruined because she caused a war in school. Yeah. But she proved herself as a warrior, and so. Yeah. He wants her around. You can come with us. To skeleton land. Where do they? Where are they from? The, the skeleton realm. The skeleton realm. I don't know. I, skeleton land has a little bit more whimsy to it. Come with us to skeleton land. You skeleton can go to college. land town. We, we have a we, we have an Ivy League college. What's a what's a pun there? An Ivy League uh, a spiny league <laughs> spiny league college. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's like, come with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. So she says an incantation backwards that breaks them all. Is there something that takes a little more like thought than that? I feel like I feel I like mean, we could also throw her in just fighting skeletons. You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah, she could have a few like beats of like is, really. Is there cool anything? Fighting. She's really into theater. Is there any like theater specific skill that would help them out? <laughs> I mean, the only thing that pops in my head is like she knocks a skeleton's head off, catches it, and goes to be or not to be. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Uh, a theater. What if uh, she, uh, I mean, she might know stage combat. Uh, theater people, they're, they're good with tools because they have to build sets. Uh, what if, what if, <laughs> what if it's uh, the only way to get this, the evil skeletons back is to sing a song? Like a, a, a special skeleton song? And so oh, okay. she sings the special skeleton song? I don't know. Huh. Huh, okay, okay. That's almost there. That's almost there. We're on the right track with that. But again, like if it takes a song, we already have our main skeleton being a cool singer. Singing skeleton. Um, dancing, singing, acting, uh directing. Okay. Okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. <laughs> you said something a long time ago. About she put on a play freshman year. Yeah. I think you said she put on a play and it was really good. She has to live up to it. What if she put on a play freshman year and it was terrible? Terrible. And the thing that sealed the deal and made it the worst thing 
she's been the laughing stock of the school and the entire theater community oh, for this man. whole time is because at this show freshman year there was a now function where when all of her actors were doing the bow after this really bad show the curtain falls on all of them and it breaks their bones <laughs> but she <laughs> She remembers that. It's like, how are we going to break all these skeletons' bones all at once? It's like, hey, let's lure them to the theater. Drop a heavy curtain and on them. And they drop the curtain on them. I think it could work. <laughs> I think, I think that, it could work. Yeah. They draw them back into the theater. They get them on mm -hmm. stage. She pulls the rope and the curtain, the heavy curtain yeah. drops on them. Whoosh, and all the bones scatter. Yeah. I think it could work. I, I think I think that works. Let's go with that. Let's do it. A theater specific thing. It shows that she's smart and she could fight. And of course, she's been helping fight the skeletons too. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Let's do it. Also, we could just we don't need to add too much, but we could just imply that the entire front row of the show was all the people that had the curtain dropped on them and they're watching the show. <laughs> They're whispering like you better. I hope. I hope she doesn't. Yeah. Hope she doesn't drop. I hope, she, yeah. I hope she doesn't break any bones. He's like, "Are you sure we should be here?" It's like, "There's no way she could hurt us she, while we're in the audience." She walks on stage and someone goes, "Break a leg." <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> you broke mine. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and then of course, like they're there to make fun of her, but as soon as like the skeleton army comes in, they're the first people that get jumped by skeletons. Oh yeah. And so that's why she's like not oh, getting man. into. Hold on. I she's gotta, not getting into human school because all these people gotta, got hurt again. I've got a joke. I've got a joke for the HOA lady and her husband. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so the husband goes. The skeleton husband goes. After the battle's over, uh, he's like, "I gotta go," and she's like, "But I didn't get a chance to jump your bones." <laughs> And that's it. We got a we got a movie. We got a movie. Boom. Yeah, yeah. that's it. All right. <laughs> Woo! I will now start looking for a title. <laughs> So we open, Samantha, she goes by Sam, is sitting at the kitchen table trying to write a script. We see this play script she's trying to like, but she looks really frustrated. She's typing, she's rubbing her hands against her forehead, she's slamming her head on the table, slamming her head on the keyboard, it's writing gibberish, you intercut this with her mom who is dressed in really Halloween-y festive type clothes. And she is putting a bunch of Halloween decorations outside. She has just constructed this giant 12 foot skeleton. As Samantha is struggling to write the play outside, the HOA lady walks by and she's like, I thought I told you those giant decorations weren't allowed this year. It's like, well, there is no rule that says that I can't put a 12 foot skeleton. It's like, well, we'll see what the HOA thinks about this at our next meeting. It's like, yeah, I guess we'll see, lady. Move on. And next door, there's a gardener tending to his guard. He's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the skeleton. I don't mind. And he's like, hey, get back to your gardening. And she walks away. Anyway, she walks back inside and Samantha is totally distraught. The mom is like, Sam, why 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 are you so down he's like i just i can't think of anything for this play he's like well don't put so much pressure on the play whatever you do will be great it's like no i i need this to be good i want to i want to get into uh into this play school so bad and i don't know there's an actual school i could probably use but i want to get into play school so bad and i i especially need something to go well after freshman year i can't have anything like freshman year it's like there's no way it could be as bad as freshman year and it's like yeah i know it's probably not going to be as bad as freshman year freshman year is bad but still i can't have it go wrong at all and so he's like hey why don't why don't you just calm down why don't you take a break why don't you finish decorating the outside i got i got all this stuff from the attic why don't you go do, do, do the decorating stuff she's like okay fine she walks outside 
the sun has set. She opens up a box of a bunch of really old looking clothes. They're all dusty. They're from the attic. She picks up this magical looking hat. She looks up at the tall skeleton. It's like, I think this will fit. She goes on a ladder. Maybe she's sitting on the roof so we get a cool visual. She puts the hat, the antique hat on the skeleton. The moonlight shines on it and then it starts to move. Its head slowly turns toward her. She slowly turns to it, looks at it closely. It moves. She's like, ah! The skeleton's like, ah! He's like, what? Wait, what are you? Are you moving? He's like, yes, it's talking. And she's like, why? Why are you talking? He's like, I appear to be alive. And it's like, I, <laughs> I could have told you that. Why are you alive? He's like, I, my spirit has occupied this. Ah, I see this hat. I, uh, I have not seen a hat like this in ages. Where did you find this? He's like, my mom collects a lot of old spooky looking stuff. I don't know. He's like, well, it looks like this hat has summoned my spirit. For when this hat is placed on a skeleton during the moonlight, uh, it it summons the skeleton spirit. And I guess it doesn't matter that this is a plastic skeleton and not an actual bone, but it appears, yeah. And he's like, wow, that that is crazy. He's like, yes, I I have not been alive since the skeleton war. <gasps> it's like, the skeleton war? What was that? It's like, oh, it was... It was so traumatic, but what? That is over. What are you doing here? And she's like, I, I, I just came out here to take a break. I got, I mean, it's nothing compared to a skeleton world. I, just, I have to write this play. It has to be really good. It's really important. I can't have it go like freshman year did. But uh, d what, what were you saying about the skeleton world? That sounds really interesting. He's like, well, I haven't, I haven't told this tale in ages, but let's see if I, oh, and then he immediately launches into this dramatic song about the skeleton war. He starts singing about how this warlock said this incantation that it put these spirits and skeletons and they came to life, but also evil spirits went to evil skeletons and the two skeletons fought for generations until one day this spell took all the spirits out of all the skeletons, but now he's back and he was in this terrible war and he was the general and he was helping the good skeletons win. And meanwhile, she's interjecting, asking for like little details. And he's like, oh, hey, what about that? He's like, oh, well, it's like this. And it's like a... How, how does skeleton society work? He's like, well, the bones were our money. And she's like, what? You're made of bones. He's like, yeah, well, worms were also our money too. And he's like, how does that make sense? Worms are alive or whatever. And then when he's talking about the incantations, he's like, what was the incantation? He's like, you must never speak of the incantation. And there's like lightning. So he's like, geez, okay. But I can write it down for you. And he writes it <laughs> down for her. <laughs> and then this whole song goes, she's like, typing while this is happening he's like this is gonna make a great play thank you so much for telling your tale of the skeleton war and it's like sure you could tell my tales to whoever you want to he's like yeah i just i can't i really can't have this go like freshman year he's like what happened freshman year and she's like uh freshman year i had a play go terrible and at the end of the play everybody went on stage to do their bow and I accidentally broke the curtain and the curtain fell on everybody and broke all their bones. <laughs> He's like, oh, that sounds terrible. Meanwhile, we cut to the night of the show. A bunch of students are walking around dressed up as skeletons. They're moving a bunch of skeleton props around. She has her clipboard and she's talking to a bunch of people and all the actors have questions. They're like, hey, why are, what were the skeletons even fighting over? He's like, they're just good spirits and evil spirits and they occupy good and evil skeletons. And there's someone that's like, wait, what, if we're made out of bones, why are bones also our money? It's like, that's just the way it works, okay? The audience is filling up. We see the front row are a bunch of people that are all snickering and we kind of recognize them from the flashback when the curtain dropped freshman year and they're all like, <laughs> I wonder if she'll break a leg today. Ha ha ha. And then one of them is like, are, are, are you sure we should even be here? Like, what if she does something even worse he's like hey there's no way she could hurt us when we're in the audience <laughs> the lights dim the play starts she is at the front row singing songs about the skeleton war it sounds a lot like what our main skeleton mr marrow was just singing about meanwhile 
while everybody is at the school, the HOA lady is driving past their house. She sees the 12 foot skeleton with the hat. He's like, I just hate that skeleton and it's gaudy hat. She looks around. Nobody's there. She crawls up a ladder and she takes the hat off the skeleton and just runs away with it quickly. Like she maybe hears the gardener next door and she quickly just like drives off. All she managed to get was the hat. Anyway, back at the play, she is about to hit the big number where she's talking about how all the skeletons are raised to life by the incantation. And he's like, the incantation that raised the skeletons, the warlock raised its staff and said, and she's starting to forget her words, but she has a script that's down on the floor (laughs) and the script has the incantation written out and she forgets for a second and she says the incantation, oh no, whatever, (laughs) gibberish. And then there's this shudder. The earth shakes. Everyone's like, what's happening? We cut to the town graveyard. As the sun is setting, the last bit of sunlight gets covered by a cloud and skeleton hands pop out from the ground. Skeletons crawl out of their graves and they all are cackling to each other and they storm the school. So they're in the play. There's like, what? what is happening? The lights are flicking on and off. And then a bunch of skeletons bum rush the stage and then everybody is screaming and freaking out. The people in the front row are like the first people that get jumped. It's like, no, <laughs> she's breaking our bones again. <laughs> Anyway, Samantha, she knows what's going on. And so she immediately runs out of the school and she runs to her house like, Mr. Marrow, Mr. Marrow, I said the incantation, evil skeletons are here. And she sees from the distance, there's no hat on Mr. Marrow. She turns around and she sees a bunch of people running out of the school and a bunch of skeletons chasing after them. And the skeletons are running in the neighborhood. They're terrorizing the whole town. Uh, a skeleton is digging up other bones in the graveyard. It's like, oh my God, we have so much money. We're going to be rich. <laughs> Another skeleton goes to the gardener's garden, is digging it up and sees all these worms. It's like, we have worms too. We're double rich. Anyway, Sam, she runs to the HOA president. The HOA president is hiding, but she has the hat in the room with her. And she's like, give me the hat now. It's like, I, I know you're responsible for this. You and your people into your Halloween stuff. <laughs> That's Satan stuff if you ask me. <laughs> I'm not giving you anything. And Samantha really lays into the HOA agent. She's like, hey, you're you're just a mean old lady that hates fun and hates everybody. And you, 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 you do nothing but hate other people. You're no good. And you should just you should just stay in here where you belong and not talk to anyone. Everybody hates you. Just nobody wants to tell you, but everyone hates you. I'm taking this hat she takes it by force she runs out of the hoa president's house she has to dodge a bunch of skeletons as they're tearing a bunch of stuff up she manages to get to the 12 foot skeleton put the hat on him mr marrow comes to life again and he's like what is going on and she's like i i accidentally said the incantation i told you not to say the incantation (laughs) it's like i know but you wrote it down it's like yes you can write down the incantation yeah but i forgot about that and i said the incantation he's like oh no whatever should we do uh uh i think i think we gotta fight these skeletons and a bunch of skeletons see this giant skeleton has come to life and so they're all running after him and so he has to like fight a bunch of skeletons uh once the two of them work together she uses some for stage combat to fight off the skeleton he's like good work okay now if you could hold them off long enough i could say the incantation the right way and summon some good skeletons he's like all right summon some more skeletons she uses her stage combat she uses her knowledge of power tools from building sets and kind of like ash in the evil dead style maybe she's got like a instead of a chainsaw like a table saw or something she's yeah. like sawing them up with a table saw but the mr marrow he says the incantation and he raises a bunch of good skeletons more skeletons come out of the grave but these are good skeletons and so now there is an army of good skeletons versus an army of evil skeletons and you know the whole town has realized that Mr. Marrow is a good guy and he summoned good skeletons. And so now they're taking orders from him. He's like, everybody, we must fight the evil skeletons. And so now all the townspeople are using whatever they have. The gardener is fighting off skeletons with like his spades or whatever. <laughs> anyway, the uh, 
the HOA lady, she's hiding in her house. There are a bunch of evil skeletons around there. But then this one skeleton with a mohawk comes Ooh. comes running. He does a flip and punches this evil skeleton right as, right as it was about to punch her. And he's like, oh, I know that face anywhere, even if it's just bones. <laughs> Is it? Is it really? Yep, it's Johnny Smooth, lady. <laughs> and and Samantha sees this happening from a distance. Johnny Smooth, the cool skeleton with a mohawk, kind of shoulder hugs her. He's like, "And I've missed you so much, baby." It's like, Johnny Smooth, I can't. I. It's so good to see you again. I missed you so much. Anyway, Samantha and Mr. Mara are fighting some skeletons, and they're doing good. But it's like they're I. There aren't, uh, there weren't that many bones left in that graveyard. We don't have that many good skeletons. We need, we need a way to defeat these skeletons. We need a way to break their bones. <gasps> and then that's when she thinks, I have an idea. Because <laughs> I've broken some bones before. <laughs> we need to lure all the rest of these skeletons back into the theater. And then I could drop the curtain on them. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like that sounds like an odd plan but it might just work and so everybody is alerted of the plan and they're all running towards the theater now meanwhile back where the hoa agent is uh they're surrounded by a bunch of evil skeletons and she's like john is smooth how are we going to get out of this and he's like remember how we used to dance babe in the summer of 69 <laughs> and he's like uh, i haven't danced like that in years not since you died and he's like, well, there's there's always time for one last dance. And so they start doing this really elaborate jazz swing dance where he's flipping her and swinging her around. She's swinging her to where her feet are kicking other skeletons. He throws her in the air and she's flipping and she's kicking skeletons. And they manage to dance their way out of this horde of evil skeletons. Meanwhile, everybody gets to the theater and they're barely holding their own, but they manage to get all of the evil skeletons cornered in one place. Samantha's using her street fighting skills. Mero is just using his giant size. The gardener is using a hoe now and he's hitting people with the hoe. <laughs> and and even the HOA lady, she is with the help of her husband. They're like kicking, you know, dance kicking a bunch of skeletons. They get them all under the curtain. And Mr. Mero's like, now, Sam. And she she hits the rope that broke before. And the curtain falls down on all the skeletons and all their bones shatter. Uh. And immediately all the good skeletons start cheering. It's like, yeah, yeah. they're looking at all the piles. Like, We're so rich now. Look at all these bones. <laughs> and then one of them comes in with a clump of the gardener's uh, soil. He's like, we got all these worms too. <laughs> he sees the gardener just look distraught. It's like, okay, we'll put them back. We'll just take the bones. <laughs> we cut to all the skeletons. They've piled all these bones together outside. Mr. Marrow's like, well, that was some quick thinking there, Samantha. Uh, I I really enjoyed doing this with you. Even though even though you kind of caused the problem, uh, you also solved it really well too. And I admire that, Samantha. You are a true warrior. And Samantha's like, well, where? Where are all you going now? He's like, well, we must go back to where our spirits belong, to skeleton land. And look, we have <laughs> amassed enough skeleton bones. We could use them as money. And we have already purchased a skeleton chariot and uh, like a, a chariot pulled by two skeleton horses. The chariot's also made of bones, which technically means it's also made of money, but we won't get too <laughs> deep into that. Lands in front of them, all the skeletons cheer. They hop on the chariot. Mr. Mayor is like, good luck with your theater school. And then that's when all of the all of the students from freshman year and the theater teacher walk up and they're all in casts. One of them has a broken leg. <laughs> and he's like, uh, you're not getting into theater school. You failed that project. He's like, what, really? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can't you can't cause a war during your play and expect to pass. You should be lucky you aren't <laughs> expelled. And she's distraught. She's like, I guess. I guess my dream's not happening. I can't go to theater school. And her mom walks up and hugs her. Mr. Mara, she's sad. And he's like, hey, since you were such an admirable warrior and such a quick thinker, would you like to come with us to Skeleton Land? And he's like, 
Skeleton Lands. Yes, we have a great school at Skeleton Land. <laughs> no bones about it. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, well, I mean, that seems like an awful long way. Like, I, I don't know if I even belong in a Skeleton Land. He's like, you've got a skeleton in there. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I guess I do. Like, mom? And of course... We we expect the parent to be like, no, babe, you can't go to Skeleton Land, but this is a mom that's really into Halloween stuff. She has yeah. skeletons on her shirt. He's like, girl, you have to do this. This is this is so cool. Like, I wish I got asked to go to Skeleton Land. She's like, okay, I guess, I guess I'm going to college in Skeleton Land. She hops on the chariot and they go flying into the sky through a portal into Skeleton Land. The end. All right, this title was difficult. Uh huh. Because I wanted to try to show it has to do with skeletons. Yeah. I, I, I saw you googling a lot of stuff. Yeah, I kept on yeah. getting tripped up because I was like, "Oh, what that skeleton <laughs> thing is he's googling?" Yeah, I was looking through the lore of the skeleton war. Yeah, I think I looked through the Disney Halloween movies. I uh-huh. think our best bet is break a leg. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, I think that's it. It and implies poster, broken bones and theater. The poster will show you the twelve foot skeleton. I was thinking about this while saying the outline. It would be pretty cool if at some point during the skeleton war, Sam gets her leg broken. And so it's like she did break, break a, a leg. leg. Oh, that is good. And also she manages to fight skeletons with the broken leg. That just makes tenacity. it look even more cool. Yeah, no, that's sick. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and this has been Break a Leg, written by Robert Therrell and Chase Bridges. Bones are the skeleton's <laughs> money, and also their dollars. I don't know when the song the skeletons that well. came to life. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember all that. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for listening to this episode. It's Halloween time, baby. Ooh, 12 Foot Skeleton. is one of my favorite it was bowl really episodes. Good. Yeah. We really uh, heated up towards the end of this season with bowl episodes. Exactly, yeah. I don't know what happened there in the middle, but yeah. Hey. <laughs> I mean, it's something about, man, spooky season just feels so right. Yeah. I've always like, I was, you know, my birthday's end of September. I just always felt like the fall is my my time. Yeah. And growing up, getting more into like horror movies. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Halloween. I mean, horror movies and also like, you know, the over the garden wall, like comfort shows that are yes. also fall related. Yeah. Everything right. lines up. And I think we got we got the perfect fall episode here. I agree. Yeah. Uh I'm I'm a very similar person. I, I love uh monster movies and, and yeah. very uh like I like uh children horror aesthetic to where yeah. it's like very colorful and vibrant, but it's yeah. horror. Like a Tim Burton. Yeah. Nobody could see it, but like right on the opposite yeah. wall, we got three of the universal monsters. Just Dracula, just Bride of Frankenstein, of and Frankenstein, which are yeah. Three of my favorites. I, I couldn't find an Invisible Man one. He is my favorite. <laughs> I mean, the Invisible Man one would just be <laughs> with the border and then it's, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the fourth one. That's a Actually, funny yeah, gag. Actually, it's already there. That's it's a funny a, gag. You need to get an identical frame and put nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's the Invisible Man. That's really funny. That's really funny. Oh, man. Hey, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. If you want to submit a topic, we're filming the last few for the year. Uh, we're uh, We shoot these ahead of schedule, so... We still have episodes coming all the way through the end of the year, but we're getting to the end of our shooting schedule. So if you want to give some submissions for that, you can send those uh, via DM on Instagram. You can join our Discord if you're a patron, or you can email us at writtenbypodcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, and our Instagram, all our socials are at writtenbypod. Uh, be voting on rival pitches. We yes. usually see a slump in the votes toward the end of the season, but we have some heater episodes that are coming out. Yeah, we do. We need your votes for, so... Yeah, go to the written written by podcast. Yeah. Instagram at written by pod. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. And then uh yeah, written by the podcast dot com. Uh that's pretty much everything. Hey, thank you guys so much for listening. See you next week. Blah.